Let her join the queue. Doctor, please. Let her join the line, Paddy. Doc, by the looks of things, don't mind. Dale and Gail kids got the condition we need for help. Do you know what you for doing? I'm for only a good one. By the looks of things, the only way that would eat some sick is that if you pass small tea. You know now what I mean. But, uh, nurse, me, me boss get money. That is not a problem. It will come pay. Just now. My doctor need to allow credit, sir. Mm -hmm. But me boss, they can't get money. Yeah, well, well, I call her. Yes, ma, doctor. Sir, you, ma. That woman is in a real critical condition. I go and make you give me the permission make her start treatment on arm till her husband comes. If you apply any treatment by arm, I will make sure I say I cut him by your salary. Out of my office. So we do. Are you Dr. Sayo in charge of this facility? Yes, I am. So are you the one who asked my driver to pay 5000 before you can administer treatment to my pregnant wife? Uh -uh. Are you the one? Please, I have a seat. I'm not here to sit. Cut the crap. I'm not here to sit. Are you aware that there's a free medical in this country for both pregnant women, lactating mother, and even under five kids? Are you aware of that? Try to calm down. I will instruct my nurse to give her immediate treatment. We we'll use her case as an emergency case. Please, sir, be seated. Mr. Yako, this is Honorable Bashir. I understand that you are the head of intakes at the nursing school. Yes, I'm the one in charge. Yes. I am calling in connection with my niece, Marie. She told me that her application was not accepted. Wants to know why. Honorable, I am sorry. The niece of has was prerequisite for Mr. Yako, do you love your job and would you want to keep it? Of course, yes, I love my job. Well then, do the needful or else. Mr. Ayako, can you wait at the reception, please, whilst your wife will be taken to the theater? Please, sir. Yes, Papa. I don't get serious trouble in the hospital right now. I order one of my nurse them for treatment in the room we can hospital. So we go get the wrong treatment and right now in order in a good condition. I really need your help right now. Give me anything, any instruction for where we will stabilize the woman. Yes, yeah, yes, Papa. When are the medicine in him? Okay, I will apply and I'm see when I will get it for her. Say, what is it? You called me and it was urgent. What is it? You see what your selfishness has cost me? What? You forced me to a career I never wanted. Wait. I pleaded with you. I asked you to allow her to choose her career, but no. You were hell-bent on her studying medicine. Madam, there is no time for blame games. The deed has already been done. Let's try to talk to Miss Ayapo. Let me go. Let's go. Let's go. Mr. Yapo, I have a very good news for you. Your wife delivered safely, but unfortunately, we lost the baby. Think of an incident where an unborn baby died before it was delivered by a pregnant woman. Rumors have it that the woman failed to bribe the medical practitioner at the facility, which led to the result. However, it is unalleged. Let's find out what was the cause. Good day, ma'am. What is your name and your position in this hospital? 
Dr. Sayo is my name. I am the senior doctor at the maternity department. Can you give your account of events leading up to the loss of the baby? Well, such incident has never happened under my purview. This was just unfortunate. What measures did you take to ensure the safety and health of the mother and the baby? As a professional medical doctor, I'm always diligent in doing my work. However, the unforeseen circumstances could always happen. There are allegations of unprofessional behavior and corrupt practices. How do you respond to these claims? Corruption practices are everywhere, but I will make sure such does not emulate it in this institution. Are there any specific reasons or circumstances that might have contributed to the unfortunate outcome? Well, I will not deny the fact that such does not happen. In the same vein, there is always a root cause. Root cause? What do you mean? Madam Journalist, Journalism has always been my dream discipline, but my parents kicked against it and forced me to get medicine, which I never wanted to. When coming up as a kid, I used to admire Aisha Sisi, that used to anchor for CNN, and Omar Wufofana, a correspondent at the BBC. Well, I'm just doing this job for the money, but I have no passion or love for it. What would be your advice to our parents and guardians who are watching us? Sierra Leoneans, this is my advice to you all. We should allow our kids to choose a career path with the help of you, the parent. We should not force them to do what they do not desire or love to. I agree that every human has a dream, but with the help of the parents, they could surely achieve it. I regret my deeds and would like to apologize to you Sierra Unions. From now onwards, I pledge my love and loyalty to my country Sierra Union. I vow to serve her faithfully at all times. I promise to defend her honor and good name. Always work for our unity, peace, freedom and prosperity and put our interest above all else. So help me God. Thank you very much, Dr. Sayo, for this wonderful interview. You're always welcome. From time on again, CCN will be visiting you in the future.